Well, hello there, dear ones. Robert Brzezinski with you. Evening prayers for the 16th of April, 2020. And uh, for those that maybe are here anticipating seeing Harold Payne, I do apologize. Not sure what happened, if it's a communication error or a tech error or uh, however, uh, Harold will not be with us this evening but uh, he and I are in communication and I trust that I'll be able to get him on the program here sometime in the near future. So uh, please do keep watching and uh, I promise to bring you Harold Payne at some point. So, uh, and if this is your first time with us this evening, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, the idea is that I jump on and do a live prayer every morning, 8.15 a.m. Mountain Time, and then again in the evening, 8.15 uh, or thereabouts, depending on scheduling, in the evening to wrap up the day. And the idea is really we are based on affirmative prayer and the power of prayer. If you'd like to get me your prayer requests, send them to RevBriz at spiritevolving.com. I'll put them in my prayer book and promise to be working on your, uh, your requests in consciousness a couple of different times throughout the day. And or if you'd like to have your prayer read into this room and into this broadcast, happy to do that. Also, uh, if you feel the, the call to join me in prayer and would like to be a special guest on the program of some evening please by all means feel free to reach out or let me know in the comments and uh and i'll be happy to do to uh bring you into the show at some point as well so i uh evening prayers right a chance to reflect a chance to look back on how this day went and also to to take a, a new energetic a, a vibration into the our resting phase into our sleeping stages states and uh, and really reinvigorate, uh, I believe, really kind of anchor the experiences of the day and the winds. And I want you to know, I had some really great winds today in my life. And uh, a couple of things that are just going perfectly. I'm not going to talk about them publicly just yet because uh, the ink's not dry. But, the, uh, but there's lots of interesting things going on. And I've been, we've been praying about this for weeks now, that there is a transformation happening. I am excited to be witness to that transformation. I'm excited to be on the transformation team. I'm excited by all the unique ways I'm getting asked to show up and to play and to be a part of this whole thing. And uh, in, in this, uh, because there is definitely uh, a resurgence in, uh, immediate online connection that is happening and people are looking for that and people are finding it people are creating it and that's what i love and each morning each evening we get a little chance to create that as well and you know i am uh, that reminds me i'm doing another minute meditation mini retreat it's uh, in a couple weeks on a saturday morning may 2nd it's uh, nine o'clock mountain time three-hour program and we had such a great time doing it last two weeks ago last week see time has no meaning uh we had such a great time doing it last week that we're going to do it again it's on a love offering basis so you can just sign up for it show up and uh and it's a gift if you have uh if you don't have anything to give don't give anything if you do then uh please share in that good however uh, i invite you to check that out so okay uh, enough all this jibber jabber and let's get into some prayer here tonight. So uh, if you're in a place where it's comfortable to uh, let your eyes close and to relax, kick back, please do so if you're comfortable with that. Oh, and take a big, deep cleansing breath. Let yourself feel the in, the ingress, the breathe in and let yourself feel that exhale and letting go allow that to be whatever it needs to be for you right now right here today this evening mm. and as i breathe i come to recognize the one 
knowing that I have never been away from the one. There's never been any separation or division between myself and the one. And I make a conscious intention to let go of the day, to let go of the humanness, to let go of everything it took to be in this moment. To set aside all of that, the hustle and the bustle, the kids, the work, the whatever. I set aside any sense of concern or worry. I set aside any question about what comes next or where this is all leading. Oh, with that big deep breath, I just set it all aside. And I allow myself to breathe in. Oh, that feeling of the divine, that vibration of oneness, of connection, of unity. It is in that breath that I recognize it is God breathing as my life. It is God breathing through my lungs. It is in that breath that I recognize God as source and supply. As the never-ending wellspring of love and light and beauty, truth and health and wealth and well-being, abundance, prosperity. It's all God. All the good in the universe, everything, everywhere, a part of this one life. And I recognize that that life has its being as my life. And so God must be expressing itself through and as my life perfectly. Whole, complete, nothing missing, nothing absent. And as I know that's truth of my life, I know that must be true of all life. So I recognize that truth of your life, of the lives of each one listening to this experience, to being to each one that is in vibrational alignment with what's happening here in this moment. And I recognize God operating in all those that are not, that are not here, that are not operating in a vibrational alignment with this word. Because that's just the human, the human construct, the human perception. At the level of the absolute, in God's, in God's mind, in God's heart, everyone is vibrating in alignment with the grand vision for human life, for the grand vision of human evolution. Everyone absolutely vital to this thing that's happening, this experience, this global healing that is happening right here and now. I know each one is absolutely vital, each set of hands important to what comes next, each heartbeat important to what comes next, each great idea absolutely vital to writing the next chapter of this grand epoch we call humanity. And so I recognize that there is a magnificence emerging, a divinity emerging, a new vision emerging for life, what it means to be alive on this planet, to be living on this planet. I know there is a new vision emerging of human existence and how we connect and how we stay in touch and, and how life goes on. See, what I know is I know this is not the end, for there is no end. There is the all of all. And I know that, yes, on the human level, there is that suffering and there are those that are, are leaving the planet. And while I cannot begin to know their soul's contract, their soul's mission, what I trust and what I stand in absolute faith and trust is that this great exodus in some way serves the evolution of humanity. That this great exodus of minds and souls and hearts in some way must serve from beyond the veil. And that life here on earth goes on. There's nothing, nothing 
that can defeat the power of God and the one. To suppose there was would be a supposition in duality. And I affirm the oneness, the unity, the absolute allness of life. I allow myself to sink into that knowing. And I invite each one that hears these words to do that same. To sink into the deep knowing that there is only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. And say it with me. That life is my life now. That life is my life now. Oh. So I do feel the excitement. I feel that, that giddy anticipation for the good that is revealing itself through this experience, for the, the newness, the new creative ideas, the new ways that God shows up as neighbors, as communities, as organizations, as opportunity. Oh, the opportunities. Opportunities abound like never before to rewrite the script, to reimagine, to revision how this all works. Because what I know is I know what brought us to this point has served its purpose and brought us to this point. And all that no longer serves is crumbling away and allowing for the newness to evolve. And so humanity is on this ever upward expanding spiral of becoming. And the old below is crumbling away as the new beckons. And so I, I speak the word for each one on this that hears these words and I claim an experience of saying yes to taking that grand leap forward, that leap in consciousness that therefore must demonstrate as experience, as form, as, as manifestations on this planet at this time. So what I know above it all is I know that God's got this. I know it's not me doing the work. I know that God's on the job and God's got all this and, and that this word is being cast into the law that must say yes. So I am in a place of absolute gratitude for this truth and for the opportunity to do just that, to send this vibration into the law that is already acting upon it, already demonstrating the truth of, of God's life through this word. And I can let it be. I get myself out of the divine circuits. I release and I let go. And I let God be God. And I invite all that here and all in alignment and all in agreement to join me in affirming this truth as we say together. And so it is. Mm, and so it is is oh, thank you dear ones thank you thank you i am so grateful that you're with me this evening um i've got a lot going on and man i love sharing it with all of you there's a new episode of the good news that just came out uh, that's a weekly program about 15 minutes every week on the good news stories that i find in the world uh, new life happening over on New Thought Radio, new uh, playlists coming this week, and all kinds of stuff there. And uh, I've got another new podcast that's launching. Last week was the first episode. Tomorrow is episode number two. And uh, ministertalk.transistor.fm. It's, uh, it's another version of... Uh, a unique conversation and a unique way of looking at what's going on in our world tonight. So, hey, I want to say some quick thank yous for some folks that are being here. Sean Ferguson prayed with me last night. Check out the archives of this show and uh, catch our prayer from last night. Looks like a picture from last night. Uh, good to see your smiling face. And uh, Lindy Dye, glad you were so with us. My beloved. Dear one, so grateful to know she continues to watch. 
Uh, and Shara, I'm glad you're with us as well. So that's all we've got for tonight, folks. Thank you for being here. Again, my name's Robert Brzezinski. I'll be back 8 a 15 tomorrow morning with morning prayers. And uh, we've got a lot of great people coming up in the next coming weeks. Karen Drucker is going to be here. David All is going to be here. Uh, who are some of the other people? The amazing Mary Jo Honey Otis is going to be here with me soon again uh, soon. Elijah Christopher, Karen Mitchell. I hope you know some of these names. Raymond Anderson. A uh, whole bunch of people. So we're looking forward to a great lineup next week. Until then, peace and blessings. I love you all. And I look forward to seeing you again uh, real soon.